Happy Thanksgiving, my Capricorn friends. This is Jennifer from Mystic Star. I want to thank you so much for spending time with me today and watching this video. This is going to be a group reading for my Capricorn Zodiac friends in celebration of Thanksgiving. I really wanted to celebrate Thanksgiving with my friends, so I thought what better way than doing a fantastic reading for them. As I was preparing for this reading, I started creating this amazing spread. So now it became this fantastic reading and an amazing spread. I had to share this spread with you guys because this really takes a good look at your abundance and helps you reflect more on what it is you truly have in your life. So the deck I chose for this reading was the Good Tarot. I couldn't create a cornucopia without it. Then we're going to end off with a bit of a different twist. We're going to use two different oracle cards and receive messages from the angels. I'm going to be using the Healing with Angels deck and the Angel Inspiration deck. Like always, there is links below to all these decks. Should they speak to you, you can go check them out for yourselves. Alright my Capricorn friends, let's start building this amazing corporate cornucopia for you. Now the first question we have, what abundance does my Capricorn friends have in their lives that they should be thankful for? beautiful card the page of fire pages are that childlike innocent energy that's full of quizzical energy this play and desire to learn has really pushed you forward my Capricorn friends now the fire in the good tarot is connected in with the wands which is all about that inner passion and that drive this passion has really brought you forward that knowledge piece, the play, it's really compounded to really push yourself forward and you've been able to create in your life. Some of this stuff you really wanted to create in your life and some of it you're like, well, I don't really want to create that. Why did I do it? All of it is a learning aspect for you. So the next question, what abundance should I be thankful for that I'm not acknowledging? And that's a big piece. It kind of connects into this page. And I understand you're probably not toasting the page of fire at your Thanksgiving dinner. However, you are celebrating those pieces that the page has brought forth for you. This is another aspect of yourself that you need to, to kind of acknowledge that you're not. We're still in the fire out realm. This is the ace of fire. Aces are a gift. Fire is about that passion. This is your drive, your inner drive. This ace has really pushed you forward. In connection with the, the page of fire, the two of them have created almost everything that you've achieved in the last year. Because it's been through passion, will, and drive that you've been able to make all this, the little baby steps that you've been taking on your path and on your journey. So let's go into the third question. What abundance are my Capricorn friends not seeing that they should be thankful for? Again, this is a reflection piece, not a, oh look, I have a new such and such. Although the page of fire and the ace of fire has helped you create those, oh look at my new such and such. I love this card. The ten of water. This Buddha is just amazing. Tens are a completion card and a beginning card. The water is connected in with the cups, which is connected into your intuition and your emotions. What you should really be thankful for, and you really haven't been thinking about it, is all those steps you've made throughout the year towards your intuition and stabilizing your emotions. As you've connected in as you've started to work on some of these aspects of your life and really connecting into who it is you are you've been connecting into your intuition you're at that next stage my Capricorn friends to being able to access and truly receive messages on a regular basis from higher vibrational beings if you're not already doing it you soon will be it's about taking those little steps and connecting in, taking the time to be observant from the symbols and repeated numbers or situations that you find yourself in. Now this cornucopia is not a static piece. 
This isn't something you achieve and walk away from. This can grow and this can really expand as you continue down your path and as you evolve and transform throughout your journey and lifetime. So let's see what the angels want to fill this amazing cornucopia with, my Capricorn friends. Now the first deck that we're going to start filling this cornucopia with is Healing with the Angels. This is a Dorian Virtue deck and I'm asked constantly by my students if these decks are safe to use because Doreen has um, shifted her her gears and uh, insight a lot over the last couple of years um, and the answer is yes they are perfectly fine because she made them when she was very connected in and working from a space of light and love the decks themselves are not connected to her energy they um, were disconnected a long time ago as you would have charged and cleansed your deck when you got it. If you haven't, charge and cleanse it, you're good. All right, let's see what messages the angels have for my Capricorn friends in filling this amazing cornucopia of hard work. Okay, and we have a jumper here, and that's trust. This is trusting in your abilities because that's probably one of the hardest things that we can ever ask of, is trusting in what you can achieve, trusting in your journey, and trusting in the universe, that you're, um, what you're doing is of the best interest for you, and something that you contracted with the universe when you decided to reincarnate. You were doing the path that you were supposed to do. So trusting in a lot of aspects of life that things are going as they should. The next piece, surrender and release. We're holding a lot of baggage. Some of that stuff we need to let go because we can't carry it with us. Part of our healing is releasing what's not working and surrendering to that trust, surrendering to the universe so that you're able to truly live that authentic self and they're going to be able to achieve all that you wanted to in this lifetime. All right, let's end off with an angel inspiration from the Angel Inspiration Deck by Kim Dreyer. And you have two jumpers, my Capricorn friend. One is silence your thoughts. Your ego is going to be playing havoc with you because there is so much change and transformation that you're about to step into and that you've been kind of taking baby steps in throughout the year. It's about silencing those thoughts and just connecting in with you. Meditating or however it is you silence all that mumbo jumbo that's in your head so that you're able to start to release what is not working that will not serve you for your greater good. That you're going to be able to receive these messages that are being sent to you. The second card that jumped out was cooperate. That's cooperate with yourself. So your your pl your earthly plane self with your higher vibrational self. Cooperate with those who are supporting and walking with you. So cooperate with the universe and your angels. It's about working together rather than fighting each other for this greater good for your sole purpose because you've got a lot of people and a lot of beings in your corner that's helping you out Capricorn. For those who wish you can pause the video here and reflect on the cards. This is a group reading however I drew these cards especially for my Capricorn friends. What further information do the cards hold for you? Like I said, this is a group reading. If you're looking for a more specific or personal reading, you can follow the link below and schedule a private reading with myself. For those who are interested, I will be running online, introductory, and interactive classes over the next couple of months. The first class is on November 11th, where I'll be running my Introduction to Angels and Archangels class. Then on December 9th, I'll be running my Introduction to Connecting or Channelings class. If you're interested in both or either of these classes, you can find out more information and register on my website. I provided a helpful link below to my classes page that will take you directly to the information you need. I hope you enjoyed this video and that you were able to gain some insight into 
all the abundance that you have in your life and all that hard work you've put into your situation, Capricorn. I want to thank you so much for spending time with me on Thanksgiving. Now, if you're not Canadian and this is not your Thanksgiving, that's okay. We can still share this amazing energy. I will be celebrating Thanksgiving with my American friends in November as well, so stay tuned for some exciting videos. Now, if you enjoyed this video, please remember to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for the latest content. As you see here, you never know where I'm going to go next and I'd hate for you to miss a video. Also, if you like this video and want to support me in making more, I have a Patreon page with many tiers and lots of perks. In some of my tiers, the perks are private readings with myself. I provided a helpful link below, so why not go check it out? Until tomorrow, my Capricorn friends.